Hi, I am Mauricio Patiño. I am a storyteller from Colombia and I do this since 2002. This time, I'm going to tell you a story from a friend. He's called Walter Garcia and he has a tale that is called The Angry King. And I made a new one from that one and I call it The Wise Prince. Begins in a very special place. There were a chain of mountains, really colorful mountains surrounded by thousands and thousands of birds and butterflies that gathered around <laughs> hundreds of different kinds of flower carefully planted by peasants that live in a village nearby. In that village, in a really humble house, lives a young prince. He is the son of a really lovely queen and a very kind king and they are known by their wisdom and justice. One day, the prince felt that he was ready to get married. So he wanted to go to another kingdom to find somebody to share his life. He called his best friend, it was his horse, and over his horse, riding on his horse, he was saying goodbye to his family and friends, telling to them, my heart will tell me who is the one that I want to share my life with. And he went to wander, riding through mountains, forests, rivers, everything. He found a new kingdom and he saw a really big castle, a castle with walls as high as the tallest trees he had ever seen in his life. The gates were guarded by two not so friendly guards. He didn't know what to do, how to enter. In that moment, his best friend, the horse, starts to cook. really smoothly and silently. He knew what he has to do, so he was quiet. And they were passing by, and one guard over here, and the other one over there. All of them were sleeping, and they didn't wake up. So he got onto the castle. He went to the main room, riding on his horse, and there, sitting on his iron throne, was the king. And he was really upset. Who are you? And how do you dare to come here? Riding a horse. Hmm? <laughs> I am a prince who lives nearby in another kingdom. And this is not just a horse, it's my best friend. And in that moment, the horse, whoa, he was moving off his horse hair, his black and sharp horse hair. I can see it's not a horse, but tell me, what do you want from me? In that moment, the prince explained what he was getting off from the horse. Look, I am a prince and I am looking for a princess to be my queen one day. And I knew that you have three princes. Will you show me please one of them because I want to marry him? In that moment, the king changed his face from anger to joy because he also wanted to get married his daughters and there were no prince around, so he was happy. Okay, 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 I'm going to show you my daughters. May the princess come. His voice was spreading through the castle. And a few minutes after that, they heard really fast footsteps approaching to the main room. He was expecting, oh, how will she be? Oh. And when they opened up the door, oh, for all the mountains and all the forests, you're amazing. She was beautiful. Wow. In that moment, he felt that his heart was beating harder than before. And in that moment, the horse wah, jumped once. They began to talk in a quiet room. And by secret, the princess told him, Oh, 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 I'm sorry, but I cannot marry with you. But shh, you have to shh. The thing is that she has a secret. She had a secret because, you know, she was... She was a hunter. She had the bow and the arrows. 
and she was in love with the blacksmith because he was a, he was a strong man, uh, making swords and everything in the in the kingdom. So the prince told her not to worry because he was going to keep her secret from his parents. He was not going to allow her to marry a blacksmith if she was a princess. The prince looked at the king and told him, Your royalty, excuse me, she's amazing, but I can marry with her. No, 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 look, I'm just a prince. The only thing I know to do is to sow flowers. She needs a stronger man with a strong heart who can take all the risks that she wants to take with her. Would you please show me another of your daughters, please? Oh, okay, 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 okay. The king was angry because he knew what a strong man can do to share with the strong woman that she had as a daughter. So he called the second princess. May the second princess come to the room. Once again, the voice spread all through the castle and the prince, he was waiting. Oh. Suddenly, Everything starts to move. It was like an earthquake. Everything was with the candles ran down to the floor and the wine from the king's cup spilled to the floor. When they opened up the door, they finally saw she was a princess and she was huge. She was so big. And when he saw her, she was also beautiful. His heart was beating even harder than the last time, and the horse jumped back twice. They started to talk, and he told her what he wanted to do, and she <laughs> told him, no. Oh, oh, I cannot marry you, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, oh, oh. but I have a secret. I'm in love with the baker's son. Yes, she was in love with the baker's son, but he was just a baker's son, not a prince. So the king couldn't know that. The prince told her not to worry. He was going to keep her secret. It's okay. Your Highness, excuse me once again, please. I cannot marry your daughter. She's amazing, she's beautiful. But I come from a flower village and we don't have enough food <laughs> for her. You know what? She needs a man that cooks so well. Someone who can feed her properly. The king was agree because he always liked to eat a lot. And he wanted the best for his daughters. So he was going to call the third princess when suddenly the horse starts to jump and scream and... Whoa, 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 what's happening there? But the prince asked for permission to take his horse to the stables. And when he was riding with his horse, he got an idea. He sneaked into the kitchen and looked for the baker's son. And he told him as a secret his idea. And when he left his horse in the stable, he looked for the blacksmith and told him the same idea by secret. And when he was going back to the main room, he was crossing the gardens. And there, oh, oh, he smelled the most precious perfume he had ever felt in his whole life. Oh, that he fell down to the ground, unconscious. And a few minutes after that, when he opened up his eyes again, he saw the most beautiful woman he has ever seen in his life. For all the flowers and all the perfumes in the whole planet, you're beautiful. In that moment, his heart was beating even harder than the last time, too much. And he heard how the horse was jumping three times in the stable. He told him, marry me, please. Marry me now. You are perfect for me. In that moment, the other two princes came by and told to her sister, she was the third prince, 
and told to her sister what he has done. How did he kept their secrets? So she agreed. A week after that, they did the marriage. They had to wait. So the lovely queen and the kind king came from the flower village to this one. They brought a lot of flowers, but the most flowers they had, they, they couldn't. They couldn't just minus the sweet perfume of the princess, of the bride. In the middle of the marriage, the prince was calling everyone's attention. I'm going to make a toast. I want to make a toast for this beautiful prince, beautiful sisters, my great king, my parents, and I want to tell you something. I want to share something with you. In that moment, the blacksmith was coming in. He was carrying over his shoulders the biggest chocolate cake that you could ever imagine. And beside him was the baker's son, telling to everyone, please taste a slice of this cake made for this special occasion. It was delicious. Oh! The king understood that the blacksmith and the baker's son were worthy of his daughters. So, as you can imagine, I guess, in a few days, there were two weddings also in that kingdom. In the flower village, there were several years where they had lived really happy. And the wise prince was also known for their decisions. And the princess, she was recognized for manufacturing the most precious, sweetest and finest perfumes in all the kingdoms around.